Okay, welcome back to our lecture on uh, the properties of AB materials. We are in lecture nine, particularly the uh, porosity, okay, the physical property of porosity of AB materials. Let me just share the screen. Uh, before we delve into porosity, let us further discuss on the topic of density, as we have uh, said last time that both volume and density are uh, affecting the porosity of materials, uh, particularly of uh, bulk materials. Before we uh, uh, also discuss the topic of density, uh, let me say that uh, this is this is just to remind you that this con the concepts here are based on materials of uh, mixtures and colloidal or yeah and those that are not uh, that, that are of biological origin and not well first we have to define the true density okay so we start now that there are five types of density uh, when we have AB materials concerned uh, true material particle apparent and bulk. Uh, true density, as I was saying a while ago, it is the density of a pure substance or mat uh, composite material. Uh, but by composite meaning it's a part of that something, of a bigger material, and it's calculated from the density of the components considering mass and volume. Uh, this is now where we can say that elemental, for example, elemental oxygen is part of, uh, of or, well, we can describe that as a pure substance, so it has its own density. And I will be not really discussing that much of true density in this in the course of the uh, the, the the lecture or the, the course. Uh, we have uh, uh, so here you consider now the element uh, uh, elemental and chemical densities. That is what true density refers to. In the field of agriculture and biosystems, we happen to encounter again mixtures colloidal in nature and of biological origin, and this is seldom used. Uh, we have material and particle density, which consider the biological material itself. Uh, material uh, density takes into consideration thoroughly broken materials with no closed pores or voids. Particle density includes all pores in the particles, but not externally connected pores or voids. Uh, if you could see, uh, well, see the cross-section of a soil material, you will see uh, voids in individual particles and there are also voids in uh, between particles. And that is where the difference of the externally connected force uh, is considered. Okay, the apparent density now includes all the pores in the material and the bulk density is the density when the material is packed or stacked. Okay. Uh, in the relation to the different densities, we now can define the different types of porosity. We have the general formula for porosity as the volume of the fraction of the void space in a material or equation one, where the void volume and total volume are in the third dimension of length or distance, L cubed. Open pore porosity is the fraction of the externally connected pores or voids of the uh, material, it is the particle density minus the uh, apparent density. The quantity over all over the uh, particle density. In simple terms, it is 1 minus the uh, quantity of apparent density over the particle density. Uh, the closed pore density of the uh, well porosity of the volume is is the volume fraction of pores closed inside the material and not connected to the exterior boundary of the material. In equation form, equation two, it is one minus the uh, quantity of the particle density over the uh, material density. The apparent porosity is the volume fraction of total pores or void space. Uh, or volume in the material boundary that it is just 
Thus, it is the sum of the open pore and closed pore porosities. Simplified, it is 1 minus uh, the quantity of the apparent density over the material density. Uh, the bulk porosity is the volume of a uh, volume fraction of voids outside the boundary of the uh, individual materials when packed or stacked in bulk. Uh, in equation, that would be 1 minus the quantity of the bulk density divided by the apparent density. Uh, the bulk particle density is the volume of fraction of voids outside uh, the individual particle and open uh, pore to the bulk volume when packed or stacked in bulk. In equation, that is the sum of the bulk porosity and the open pore porosity, which is equation 6. And then lastly, we have now the total porosity. porosity. It is uh, the total volume fraction or void space that is inside or outside of the materials uh, when the material is packed or stuck in bulk. In equation, it is the apparent porosity plus the bulk porosity or also equals the uh, open porosity plus the closed pore porosity. Uh, open, sorry, open pore porosity. And then the uh, bulk porosity because the apparent porosity is again the open pore porosity plus the uh, closed pore porosity. Uh, there are various relatively new techniques uh, of density and porosity determination, uh, which we will cover with uh, journal readings. So I am going to expect you to read journals, which we have not yet done in the course of the uh, subject. And in the next example, we will try a solving problem involving uh, porosity. Thank you, and uh, I'll be expecting you next time. Thank you.